We're in Aizu Fukushima at Takinoyu Onsen, which literally means hot spring waterfall because there's a waterfall right there. That's why it's so noisy. Can you hear us? Oh, dang, it's Chris. Oh, hey, Chris. Hey. So this is our room. It's a traditional ryokan room with a modern twist. Let's go check it out. Who are you talking to? This suite is huge and beautiful. Starting off with our Japanese-style room. Hatami mats, this is where you can take your dinner if you'd like. And then the sleeping area, follow me. It's Western style, but there are Japanese style rooms as well. But come over here, check this out. Do you hear that? Natural nature sounds. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. My favorite little part, I get to creep on Chris while he sleeps. This room comes with a TV so obnoxiously big, we had to put a human model next to it for proportion. Everything's nice here. Look, look at this tea. It's got this cute leaf. A toilet. I'm sure you guys know Japanese toilets come with a lot of fun functions, so there's it's a toilet menu here. I get really excited for the bathrooms in the Ryokans because they have so much product. This one has cleansing wash, another cleansing wash, liquid cleansing, moisture lotion, overnight lotion, another moisture lotion. And it's like I'm a diva here. Shower. You shower before you take a bath. Private bath. That is... So peaceful. I guess you know you've been living in Japan for some time if you find it amusing that you can bathe by yourself. Are you tired of sharing your bath with a dozen old men? Now you can just by yourself. hotel room has this cool roof on the thing. And our room is called Mizunama, which means water of I don't know. Where are we going, Kasha? We're going to pick out yukatas. What's a yukata? A yukata is a simplified kimono. First stop on our trip, Tsurugajo Castle. in Japan are similar in architecture. They generally have these few stories with the upturned roofs. This one's different because it has a red roof. It's the only one in Japan with the red roof. Unlike castles in Europe, castles in Japan are rebuilt every so often because they're built out of wood, which makes them susceptible to damage from wars and earthquakes. Do you like matcha? I like matcha, so I'm gonna have some matcha. Some bitter it's a matcha? Tea ceremony room uh, in this castle ground, and you can try the traditional matcha, which is like bitter, goes well with the sweets. Okashi. Are you excited for the tea? I love the tea, it's my favorite part of um, like castle experiences or temples. Separately, the tea is very bitter and the okashi is very sweet, but together it's 
perfect combo. There's a lot to be uh, read and researched about Japanese green tea ceremony. It's not only about drinking tea, it's not only about the tea itself, but it's meditation. What's going on? We're gonna go eat soskatsu. It's this. It's fried pork. It's a local specialty on rice with a lot of sauce. We're ordering the restaurant's specialty, the specialty that Prime Minister Shinzo Abe ate himself. Although his actually looks like this one. Hmm, maybe I ordered the wrong one. Another specialty of this region is basashi, which is horse meat sashimi. So, raw horse, horse meat, basically. Yeah. Cheers. Mm, it's very tender. The specialty of this restaurant, sauce katsu, is this huge bowl of rice, cabbage, and fried pork. And the pork is uh, nicely braised in sauce, and it's got a lot of flavor, which is not all Japanese dishes have very strong flavors because the Japanese food is usually pretty mild, so it's pretty special. Oh, it's so saucy. It's so mm. saucy. This meal was so good. I, I love raw meat. 10 out of 10. I really love owls. I have an owl tattoo and I just really... kind of looks like... I don't know which one. This one maybe? Maybe this one, but skinnier. Not a lot of people say they came to Japan to bathe when asked the question of why they came to Japan. And I think it's a pretty legitimate answer. It would be, given how awesome the bathing culture is. This is the first time for me to be trying a rooftop private bath. And it's so nice. I'm lost for words. It's amazing. I've never been in a private rented bath like this. I've only been in the kind that are in your room. It's like a rooftop bath party. This is easily the most luxurious bathing experience I've ever had in Japan. And I've bathed in a lot of places. Chris? Hey. Where are you going? For dinner. <laughs> the sake is made in collaboration between this hotel and a local sake brewer. <laughs> Here is a kaiseki style meal. Kaiseki is a type of Japanese high cuisine, uh, which its basic foundation is to have a lot of small portions of different dishes in one meal. So you get to try a lot of flavors. This thing here is koi, which translates to carp. We don't normally eat carp in Japan. This dish is very interesting. Normally when you think sushi, you think fish but this is a set of sushi with no uh, fish in it and it's horse meat, raw chicken meat and beef. Pretty neat. To 
add to the nighttime vibe of this place, they have a storyteller that comes in the evenings as well as projection mappings. Um, the No Theater located across the river from the Ryokan, so you can sit inside the Ryokan and watch it. It's I've never seen a No Theater like that. It's really super cool. <laughs> One more thing before I go to sleep. I'm going to enjoy the cook bath. It's really chilly out today, so this is uh, a nice contrast. We had a good sleep, now it's time for breakfast. Cook. Oh. It's a good selection of Japanese breakfast things and sausages and bigos. Is that bigos? I don't think that's big bigos, but it looks like bigos. Tiny ramens. Breakfast is buffet style, which in Japanese is called Viking. There's fresh mochi, which you can eat in a selection of four ways with sesame seed powder, soy powder, red bean paste, that's three sweet ways, and uh, soup. I actually didn't try the soup one. We're gonna go explore the local area. We're gonna go see a structure called Sazeido. It's the only wooden structure left from the Mid-Edo period for Mid-Edo period enthusiasts. Wow, these trees are so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. There's a bamboo forest. It's the perfect spot for practicing my ninja skills. Oh no, where, where's Chris? Where? I, I, I don't... I can't see him. This pagoda is cool. It has character and it looks really... It looks different from other pagodas. It's super funky. So here's the deal with this place. There are two spirals and they never cross. They just meet at the top. So whoever's going down right now, I won't see him. I don't wonder who, who that is. Charlie? Could be Barack Obama. where the spirals meet. The next one starts right there. I'm really happy I got to see this. Um, I, I can't remember what they're called, but they're these things that don't, don't fall over. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do they look good? Some nice refreshing ramune on this warm day. <laughs> We're gonna go shoot some bows and arrows, archery, Japanese style. <laughs> this place is called Nishinkan. It's an old school for samurai children, for sons of lords. And you, they came here to get all the samurai skills that they needed, like swordsmanship, spear, archery, Japanese calligraphy, uh, all sorts of stuff. It's, it's really beautiful. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh nice! It's cool. It's, it's difficult cool. to aim. You got no sight, so it's just like. You have to, yeah. I liked it. I would say this school is by far the best samurai themed attraction I've seen. It's a real old samurai school, and you mm. get to try the activities. It's yeah. really cool. It's not like over. It's not trying too hard to be cool. It just yeah. Is. And most 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 of these places in Japan actually try a bit too hard. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's so many fishes. We're gonna eat you for Christmas. <laughs> Let's walk among the samurai land. There's still more baths, the actual public bath. I'm gonna go enjoy that now. Tiny little baths here. It's like I'm clicking in a cup. We love the sauce katsudon so much yesterday that we wanted to try it again. But we also have another local specialty, which is kitakata ramen. Uh, it's soy-based ramen with extra pieces of pork. Um, I just want to point out that this set is called the mini set. This is, this is called mini. This right here. Mini. There's a beautiful lake in the area. It's called Goshiki Numa, which translates to Five Colors Lake. Have a look why. Can you see all five colors? I see one. I see three. I see three already. I think. How's the rowing going? I think we're not moving right now, are we? We are. We are. We're doing good. The water in this pond is pretty clear. You can see the bottom. Like rowing in movies always look so romantic, but no one. They always edit out the sound. Kasha, it's a very romantic experience, eh? It's very romantic. 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 What's going on? Everyone here is really excited about the giant koi. To wrap up my stay at this Ryokan, I have to say there's still a ton of amenities I haven't gotten to, like a doggy bath, which I've literally never seen before, sake tasting, self-serve beer, and there's even waterproof books to read in the onsen. So it's just overall a well thought out experience, and I loved it. What I specifically like about this place is the sound of the waterfall. It makes you sleep really good. I had a great sleep this night. So this concludes our stay in Takinoyu. It's a great ryokan in Aizu in Fukushima Prefecture. Highly recommended by the Waga Pies. Children, make sure to press that notification bell, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a thumbs up.